to have uh, Professor Chao Chang Gang from NTHU uh, to give a, a talk today. Uh, <coughs> Professor Gang received his PhD from uh, Virginia Polytech in 1987. Um, 1987. I said 19, you got pregnant, I think? 1997. I said 87? Yeah. <laughs> I did. 87 or 97? 1987. <laughs> Just trying to make you young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then he spent uh, postdoc terms at uh, Triumph, Montreal, and Iowa State, and came to Taiwan first as a visitor to NDHU in 93, and uh, became an associate professor in 94, and was promoted to full professor in 1998. I think I met you since Triumph, or was it earlier? Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, I've known him uh, since a long time. So, um, Professor Gang has a very diverse repertoire uh, from the flavor physics, neutrino physics, cosmology, gravity, you name it. Okay. So today he's going to tell us about Majorana neutrino mass generation. Okay. Maybe he's going to comment on condensed matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I really need this one? Hello? Hello? Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, Professor Hoi Su for inviting me uh, to give a talk here at National Taiwan University. I'm very happy to be here. And also, thanks for the introduction. I know him, I think, in 1989. 89? 89. 89. Well, but you were anyway. at Triumph. The question is whether I visited Triumph or we had a conference. Uh, you also, yeah, you visited Triumph. You, uh, you were attending some conference, like the okay. PBR okay. conference. Okay. The, okay. For, uh, <laughs> uh, so Darwin was there too, right? No, I <laughs> Long time ago. Anyway, I, I, cannot, if I cannot remember anything. Normally, I ask a professor to tell me everything about my history, <laughs> my parking, maybe got the parking ticket. No, I, I cannot remember. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Marina Neutrino. And this is the, the title of the talk, Marina Neutrino Mass Generation. Uh, this talk has been actually uh, given at the Singapore Conference of Mass Generation. That's why I use I'm, it's his name, Mass Generation. And here is the outline. Uh, first, I would like to give an introduction. And then I will present some models with uh, multi-high charge scalars. And then I will move to uh, Mara neutrino, in which I will concentrate on neutrino mass generation, neutrino-less double beta decays, as well as some other uh, terminology related to uh, this model. At the end, I will summarize uh, uh, this talk. Neutrino probably can be viewed as uh, the first dark particle in terms of current uh, particle physics uh, terminology. Uh, dark means uh, we cannot see it with electromagnetic interaction, and we don't really understand it uh, uh, well for this particle. And this particle was first uh, proposed by Pauli in 1930, try to understand this continuous uh, beta, decay, uh, beta energy spectrum. As soon as he proposed this particle, he said that I have done a terrible thing. Indeed, it's very terrible because he, uh, this particle has been troubling us over 84 years since uh, the, the proposed particle in 1930. Okay. But in terms of poly, um, this uh, is something good because it's the uh, bad things uh, is uh, is is a is good things. It's the worst thing is not even wrong. So something wrong is good. So this is something wrong. So it's really good. Okay. And this particle was uh, first. This type of particle related to this particle was the first called the electron neutrino was observed in 
1950s. Okay. And the second flavor, muon flavored uh, neutrino, muon neutrino, was observed in 1962 by these three gentlemen. And while uh, the tall neutrino was only discovered in 2000, which is not very long ago. Okay. And the first work on the electron neutrino was also part of a uh, Nobel Prize uh, uh, in physics in 1995. Okay. I think he, uh, he already died. He died long ago. Long ago. <laughs> anyway, so it's good if you <coughs> find something, stay on and eat good food. <laughs> Not in China, <laughs> some nice place. I mean, you can go to Uruguay someday. And the second one, which actually came to Uruguay, uh, really early in 1988. Okay. I remember that the, uh, the first year after I got my PhD degree. Okay. Hopefully, uh, we, ha we we have uh, uh, the fourth one, but not here yet. <laughs> And maybe highly, uh, highly neutral uh, particle, first you mentioned, will be mentioned by National Taiwan University as a you know members of its CMS. If you count the 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 the, the, the first generation uh, after 1930 and then 1952, and the second one only 1962, and the third one 2000. If you count. The first one may be 2030. <laughs> so how to be a uh, judge, you should be good food, then you will have a verify one day <laughs> for the first one. Okay. Anyway, the first observation of a cosmic neutrino was uh, in the 1970s. And we you know recently we have a high energy, very high energy uh, uh, cosmic neutrino. So this is uh, not that high energy, the cosmic neutrino. We recently referred to also cosmic neutrino. It's, I think a P is very high energy, okay, as I speak. The most important topic in neutrino physics is uh, related to the neutrino oscillation, which has have been uh, uh, discovered <coughs> by many neutrino experiments. We know that uh, in order to have a, a neutrino oscillation, neutrino has to be, uh, has, should, must have masses and mix with each other, okay? Which clearly indicates some new physics beyond the standard model. I will mention, that as we all know, in the standard model, neutrino get zero masses. The, neutri from, uh, neutri the neutrino experiment uh, from the sun tell us the mass square difference of first two flavor it is about 7.59 times 10 to the minus 5 EV squared. Okay. Uh, while the, uh, the data, uh, the neutrino experiment around us tell us the mass square difference is around 2 times 10 to the minus 3 EV squared. It depends on the sign. Uh, if the plus sign, we call it, we have uh, end up uh, called the normal RT. If you have a negative sign, we call it uh, inverted mass of RT. The, the experiment, uh, the, the absolute value, uh, constraint on the absolute value of the neutrino mass is from beta decay. So currently, the constraint on electron neutrino is less than 2.3 EV. In near future, we'll bring down to 0.2 EV. Which is more or less uh, uh, as the same level as the the, the, uh, the bond from cosmology, which is uh, 0.25 uh, EV. Okay. The current uh, technology of this experiment cannot be pushed even further due to some uh, you know you can see here detector is already big too big in Europe we cannot make it even bigger because it cannot move. So we have to invent some new technology in order to push that limit a little bit down better than the current cosmology of that limit. For the neutrino mixings, uh, if you look at the mixing, it's 
it looks like the second three mix angle and one fake. They were two very popular uh, uh, mathematics based uh, mixing math uh, mixing matrix uh, for this is called P M and S mixing matrix for the left hand side correct. One is a uh, bi maximal, okay. Another one called the triple maximal. For bi, bi maximal, the benchmark uh, value for C one two is forty five degree, and for triple maximal, also is just like C one two is zero. But from experiment, and this is current uh, global fit, and the, the C one two now is only. <coughs> 34 degree and C13 is around 9 degree. Okay. So clearly the bad maximal is low. Okay. Also the true maximal also is low. We should thank the entire way, which is also uh, how I think National Power University is participating in uh, this uh, bad experiment, which tell us that the mix angle of 13 is about 9 degree. Okay. Thank you. So uh, by putting the, 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 the numbers, you find out this uh, uh, mix, uh, left hand mixing matrix is, is no obvious uh, mass uh, the, the hierarchy. Unlike the CKM, which is the high, that is a hierarchy type in terms, you know, in terms of sine uh, theta, which is lambda, point two two. Okay. Uh, people actually wrote too many papers talking about prediction, predict this uh, mixing matrix. But uh, at my point of view, it's, it's, it's no point to do that because we don't even know. We, we, we already measure CCAM very well. We know the, C, the part mixing uh, <coughs> mass, phase, but we cannot predict the CCAM. How can we predict the neutrino mixing? Okay. And currently, there's no matter, no hierarchy, so I think even harder. Anyway, so people are still writing paper about this is a, a mixing matrix. But I think it's uh, going to be a, a point. Okay. At least, we're hot. Neutrino, uh, as a, you know, that neutrino <coughs> oscillation measures the mass square. And that they do not provide information about the absolute neutrino spectrum. And therefore, cannot distinguish whether neutrino are pure dark or minor neutrino. So, then what is the origin of neutrino masses? Are neutrino dark or minor particle? This is a, a dark particle, this is a minor particle. This is a mass in terms of the mass. Uh, so we know if it's a, if it's a neutrino is dark particle, the left hand number is conserved. <coughs> if it's a minor particle, the left hand number is violated. And the violation is the left hand number could induce nuclear neutrino double decay through this type of process. Okay. Of course, this is forbidden in the standard model. In this talk, or since I'll concentrate on marine neutrino, I would like to mention a, a theorem called black box theorem for the marine neutrino. <laughs> okay. Why is that? Hey, Shaman. Hey, Shaman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should also <coughs> talk about it in the next time. Anyway, it, this uh, black box theorem is basically related the, the zero neutrino double decay with mild neutrino mass term. It says that any mechanism inducing the zero neutrino double decay produce an effective mild neutrino mass term, which mass therefore contribute to this decay. Okay, the same the kind of relationship. But this actually, this is the uh, theorem is, is not very useful. Actually, it's, it's not very good because once you have uh, this loop diagram, if we really calculate the, the neutrino mass generated from this loop, it's going to be very, very small. So it's uh, very, very suppressed. Okay? 
Also, I want to comment that this theorem does not state if the mechanism for uh, zero neutrino level decay from the neutrino mass is the dominant one. So we don't know whether neutrino is on here going that way, going to be the dominant contribution. If not the dominant contribution, it's very small. What's the point to talk about? Also, in some uh, models, the dominant contributions to the zero neutrino that will be decay are generated without directly involving mono neutrino. Okay? And many examples. In this talk, I will present some model along this direction. Let's uh, go back to standard model. As you know, last year in 2013, people got excited and <coughs> said the first time we to really understand the mass generation of formula. Also, we also understand the mass generation for the H boson due to the Higgs field. Okay. Indeed, uh, if you look at the uh, Higgs Fermi interaction called the atomic interaction, we have the Fermi mass. It, this is for the standard model purely for the charge Fermi. What about neutrino? Do they get their masses like other fermions, like charged fermions? Okay. If you look at the standard model, uh, the, the, this is standard particles. Uh, there is no direct mass term because we don't have a uh, direct neutrino. And also, we don't have a uh, Marmi neutrino mass either because this is a neutrino is in the SU2 subject. Okay, you cannot form a uh, denominable neutrino or gauge invariant uh, mass term for, uh, for, uh, for the right hand, uh, left hand neutrino. Okay. So no marine neutrino either. However, in uh, 1980s, Weinberg proposed an effective uh, dimension five operator. Of course, it has to be uh, they understand the model, and, and which is also non-renoblatable high energy. <coughs> Since uh, after the spontaneous symmetry breaking, breaking of the electric symmetry, and neutrino did receive, did got this, uh, uh, got this uh, mass term, like this. Since the only scale available at high energy scale is the Planck scale, Planck mass, if you put number in, you find out that uh, the neutrino mass is uh, 10 to minus 6, which is too small to count the, the current neutrino data, as I uh, mentioned earlier. Okay. So this is uh, hopeless. So we have to go, it looks like we have to go beyond the standard model. The simplest uh, way to go beyond the standard model, or uh, simplest uh, model, it just add right-handed neutrino. Like right hand add this is a gauge singlet under as under the standard group with zero half a charge. Like other fermions you will have uh, the Yakawa interaction and therefore uh, they will have the, the neutrino mass term which is direct. Okay. And again depend on like other fermions can depend on the account coupling and variable for X. From the observed neutrino masses, as you, I mentioned already, uh, this Yakawa uh, coupling has to be less than 10 to minus 13 to 10 to minus 12. So which is extremely small numbers. This is why most people think it is unnatural, it's not good, we have to go beyond beyond the right hand neutrino, beyond the direct mass term. But if you look at, if you work on cosmology, you think it is nothing because cosmology constant is, is even smaller, okay? The, the theoretical prediction is about 120 order many wrong or large, okay? So this is, uh, for me, actually the direct neutrino is probably the best, probably the right candidate for neutrino physics. But if that's true, then they probably uh, end up particle physics, <laughs> or see, because everything, if you have neutrino, dry neutrino, then there's uh, no mu gamma, there every lepton number is conserved, 
they take no zero neutron mass and they decay. Everything is just like we have now today. Anyway, so I'm not going to go that direction. I want to uh, talk about uh, possible mana type of neutrino. So why do you have right hand neutrino? Can you maybe try to readdress this given that there's a year and a half? Naturalness is now a bad word, right? Yeah. So unnatural is not bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as you mentioned, you know, it's not as bad fine tuning as. Uh, so, so, so I think this is probably the true physics for me. <laughs> what, what is particularly wrong with it? Right? So, unnatural is the usual tag. Yeah. So, people are now puzzled. Mm -hmm. Is naturalness mm -hmm. the wrong guiding principle? Right? Anyway, it's not, not your thing, but my question was mm. has anybody readdressed this? Actually, it's a much more boring world. It's boring. The people want to have something not boring. For instance, uh, if you take this kind of a view, any insight on uh, any revelations from uh, neutrino mixing, because it's astounding. It, no, it's just like, then, <coughs> that, if that's true, that even worse, just like a quark, a CKM. In fact, uh, you can never predict CKM mixing. And you know, people <coughs> try, many, many paper uh, predict uh, CKM never got anywhere, uh, anywhere. So I think if that's true, then... But it's a little bit artificial because I guess uh -huh. one says there's no Majorana mass. M right is zero. M right is zero. In right. that case, it's exactly zero. Exactly zero, yeah. So or in that sense, it's something. So th th that's why once you add Rahan neutrino, has to be something there. That's uh, I want to... Right here. Okay, anyway, but this is a good, it's probably, when you, uh, in the insurance basis, it's probably, if you stay on this, probably it's very bad news for uh, all particle neutrino physicists. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so forget about it, okay? Let's move to, so what you have at this uh, minus particles, like right handed, uh, this is a right handed neutrino, this is a, a gate singlet and zero hypercharge. It naturally form a uh, modern neutrino mass term for the right handed itself. Okay? So once you have this term, if the, if the end is scale is a little bit high, then we end up with this kind of seesaw magnetism. So actually, we saw a type, type 1 seesaw magnetism. Okay? But the question is uh, how natural is this? If you still want the natural, is because you put scale somewhere, but how that scale is natural or not? Another question. Okay, since we never add higher, we just want to understand this the smallest of uh, the neutrino mass, then we have the system. Okay, let's just uh, uh, suppose we don't like the right hand neutrino, okay, we don't want to add anything uh, called so called right hand neutrino. So once you add right hand neutrino, of course you will have this one. So we don't want to add this one, okay? Then uh, we'll end up the neutrino mass uh, has to be Marana because we don't have a left handed. And there, there are uh, many mechanisms to generate Marana neutrino mass. For example, two, a tree level, you will uh, first uh, you can get this uh, neutrino mass from this uh, tree diagram. This is a U channel, for example. And you just simply add a single edge for me or triplet formula. Uh, this single formula is just like right hand, but we don't call that a right hand neutrino. Okay? So we will now somehow we don't cut off here. Okay. And then this is a, uh, this is a refrag type one C cell and this is a refrag type three C cell. Okay. And there's familiar uh, name pro here, that's the pro here. Okay. And we have uh, also uh, if you add a scalar triplet, such as this one, as a delta triplet with popular two, will also have a, this P channel. This is, uh, this is tree diagram. This is also called cap two C cell. Okay. This is tree. <coughs> but from tree, people don't like tree diagram to have something small uh, uh, value. So if you from loop, they say, okay, we have loop separation. People always mention loop separation. However, we know it is a, 
uh, not really true because Lulu phone suppression is not that huge. Because when the um, very, very small neutrino, we need very uh, high loop. Okay. Yeah, anyway, just throw uh, Marin on a loop level. There are many, many models. The popular one, the famous one, the first one is called Z, uh, proposed by Tony Z in 1980, called the Z model. And he, he uh, adds some uh, charge scalar singlet and some also uh, some additional scalar doublet. This is through this uh, uh, one loop diagram. <coughs> Somehow, it's not that clear. Okay. In 19, uh, uh, 2006, uh, Ernest Ma proposed his uh, model, called the Ma model, with, fur, uh, with Fermion singlet and some additional scalar doublet for this type of one loop diagram. Okay. And another popular model at the two level level, proposed by Z and Babu, okay, was uh, doublet and singlet charge scalar. And this is the Z Babu model. I used to call it Babu Z. I wrote a paper, I sent you the journal, the, the archive, I, I got a letter from Tony Z. He said, you should not call it Babu Z because people used to call it Babu Z, but then you should call it Z Babu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, now I have to be careful always put the Z Babu model. Okay. So this is a tool. There are many other models. So if, for example, if you allow uh, lambda quark, which is a scalar couple uh, lepton and quarks, we call it lepton quark, and we can have this uh, one loop as well as this is two loop, okay? Uh, yeah, two loop. And people even connect uh, the, the neutrino with dark matter. Cannot see <laughs> what happened. <laughs> uh, it's probably dark. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's uh, like a, a last year, Zhang Ying and his student proposed a uh, top part as a dark portal to prove a three loop level. Okay. I want to emphasize that all these uh, loop induced models, uh, the neutrino that double bit decay, are highly suppressed. Okay because they don't really couple directly to the uh, So you cannot, uh, this, all these models, you don't have a uh, large neutrino that double it. I want to propose a model in which uh, the, the, uh, we can understand neutrino mass from blue, uh, not only, but also we can understand, we can have a large rate for zero neutrino stability decay. And this model actually was proposed uh, uh, several years ago when I was uh, when I got my sabbatical at Trans, 2006 or 2007. He proposed a model again without Raha neutrino. We just simply add some new scalars. We just add the triplet. This is just like type two C cell. Okay, another singlet. And have a charge, this is a triplet, two, this has a four, therefore this is a double uh, charge scale. <coughs> Here is the, the Higgs, uh, the scalar potential, and the last term is the most important term. In these uh, models, there is a new Yakal term, this, this is double charge scalar, and you will couple to, this is a right-handed electron or lepton And in this, presumably, uh, this triplet also couple this L, just like the, uh, the type 2 T-cell, couple this LL. But we want to uh, impose some symmetry to predict this term. But we, add, but we, we, we do need this uh, triplet, because uh, in order to break the lepton number, so we need this triplet but we don't want to have this tree coupling. So we need some symmetry. So one symmetry we have is like